This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Shelley Begley who's a technical marketing engineer at Agilent Technologies and she's going to tell us about one of their dielectric materials measurement devices. Hi, I'm going to show you the 10 gigahertz split cylinder resonator for measuring dielectric properties of very low loss uh, thin films or substrate type materials. So we have uh, the system here is a the split cylinder resonator, we have a network analyzer, and some software that we're running on the network analyzer to calculate the permittivity. So if we look at the fixture, it's a couple of um, very finely machined cylinders. We have the energy coming in from the network analyzer to coupling loops through holes in the sides of the cylinders. The material is placed between the two cylinders and by measuring odd number TE0 NP modes we, where the electric field is at its maximum we can calculate permittivity. The first usable frequency is around 10 gigahertz and we can go upwards in frequency by picking up off these higher order modes um, and measure in more than one frequency with a single free fixture. So if we look at the software, this is a look at our software. It sets up the measurement and does all the calculations. Um, I've made a measurement here. The first step is to measure the, the fixture close. So we have a frequency of close to 10 gigahertz and a Q uh, which is quality factor over 20,000. Um, the next step is to enter the sample thickness and then set the range. So I've selected the frequency, the first usable mode, which is the TE011 mode, which occurs at around 10 gigahertz. And when I measure the sample, the frequency, when I insert the sample in the fixture, the frequency will shift downward due to the real part of permittivity. So it's shifted down to around 9.6 gigahertz. And the Q will degrade it, the Q factor will degrade due to the loss tangent. So now you can see it's around 13,000. And from those measurements, we can calculate permittivity. So this is a thin piece of uh, PT, Teflon brand PTFE and um, we calculated the real part of permittivity at uh, close to 2.05, which is expected, um, the imaginary part at 0 0.00042, and the loss tangent at 0.00021. And, um, and so you can see that we're actually able to measure, get resolution on this loss tangent number of 10 to the minus 4. So this method a resonant method is what's needed to be able to make those measurements at 10 to the minus 4. Um, and that's why you'd want to go to a technique like this. All right, Shelley, thanks very much for demonstrating your device to us. Sure, thank you.